Alright guys, iPhone 14 Pro in deep purple, 128GB, this is the Pro Max. Let's go ahead and unbox this for the very first time. You have a USB-C to lightning cable. Then you have the SIM ejection pin, which in the UK, it still has the SIM card tray in the iPhones. In the US, it has the eSIM, so you wouldn't have this option. Then you have yourself the iPhone information and warranty with an Apple sticker right at the back. Let's go ahead and turn the phone on for the very first time and I will transfer my entire iCloud backup from my iPhone 12 Pro to my iPhone 14 Pro Max. Now I'm going to select transfer from iPhone. This may take some while, but the one thing I really like about iPhones is that once I've purchased a new iPhone directly from the Apple website, a pop-up notification appeared on my current iPhone, which said to back up everything to iCloud and have it completely ready to transfer once I unlock and log in to my new iPhone. And there we go, the transfer has now begun. This is probably going to take some time, but once it's complete, all of my apps, my settings, my cards in my wallet, and anything else that I've set up on my previous iPhone will be transferred over to my new 14 Pro Max. And there we go, the transfer is complete and the new iPhone will restart and it will be ready to use. Okay, so the phone has restarted and you can see this has the always on lock screen. Let's go ahead and unlock both of these. There we go, you can see it's copied everything like for like, the layout, the apps, the widgets as well, which I think is great. And of course, the first thing I want to do, which I was always waiting for Apple to reintroduce, is turn on the battery percentage at the top right hand side of the screen. There we go. That's something I've been wanting for quite a long time. And of course, there's going to be a few other things in the settings that didn't exist with the iPhone 12 Pro. But for the most part, it's just going to finish downloading all of the apps that I've had. And once that's done, I'm pretty much ready to go. I've now put the SIM card from my old phone into the new iPhone and I'm pretty much ready to start using this straight away. And in my next video guys, I'm going to be showcasing all of the different features that you get with the iPhone 14 Pro versions compared to the iPhone 12 Pro versions. So make sure to subscribe so you don't miss that video. I'm going to showcase not just the features but also the quality of the camera and all of the features that come with these three different lenses. And hopefully you guys will find that useful in making a decision if the iPhone 14 Pro is actually worth upgrading from the iPhone 12 Pro. Thanks for watching guys and I will see you at the next one.